just do another view here. So um, while programming, while writing a software, while writing a program, uh, what you're basically doing is uh, writing instructions uh, that you want uh, the computer to follow that uh, we we want to think of an example say uh, const temperature temperature current temperature I will use Celsius so let's say 35 is the temperature um, and I can say um, if the temperature is uh, less than 20 oh there you go so I wanted to tell that it's it's cold um, I would like to say if it's lesser than 30 I would say this like it's not too hot or something and if it goes above that then I would say it's hot outside so this software so this is a weather station and we have like sensors doing the uh, measurement of temperature or things like that uh, for now we're just assigning it uh, a fixed value this sh this could be coming from some uh, weather API of uh, these these code uh, today what I will do is I will run them um, using node so um, um, this is the uh, command line for node uh, you can pass a JavaScript file to this node command and it will just execute that and it just did uh, it, it ran this code and you see it's nice outside which is the console log that we provided here so uh, given the temperature uh, you can say if it's um, like nice weather it's hot or it's too cold um, one thing one actually interesting thing would be uh, to take the temperature let's say we're taking temperature from environment what we can do is we can set temperature here 34 Um, this will be like we are just setting this uh, environment var variable called temperature and running the script which now what it does is it takes the environment variable uh, assign it to temperature and then do this ifs and elses so this is a simple uh, if else conditional statements uh, when to use them is clear if your codes flow is not limited to one single uh, path like if you have to do something different depending on something some some conditions you'll be using those conditionals so in general like most of the programming language has similar syntax and similar approach of conditionals and JavaScript is not different the same exact same thing with switch case uh, single value like um, this can be used in like discrete input like if you have inputs like um, a B and C and D or something like that uh, then we can use that for example um, Mm, let's say if uh, the temperature we like um, we got our hot cold and freezing or something like that uh, what we can do is if the temperature given is hot we say <laughs> this it's not very uh, useful use case but um, yeah uh, 
sorry for these line breaks so these are supposed to be on the same line and if warm temperature is the input say and you add this break after each of the case so that it doesn't go to another so if you don't have that break case there uh, what it does is it will keep looking for other cases that satisfies the um, conditions so uh, I don't know when that is possible but here um, in any um, switch uh, case statement you can have a default case which will be handled uh, if none of the uh, mentioned states satisfies so uh, this is like else in if else um, just <laughs> yeah this is a nice message so uh, if the given temperature is not hot warm or cold it will do the last one so if we say uh, temperature is hot um, the the program says it's hot outside if I say it's warm it says it's warm outside if I don't set temperature at all if or if I set temperature to an uncare about then uh, it will s uh, it will trigger the default case which is I don't know what the weather outside is uh, and there is any issues like that so uh, in conditionals we have we we looked at if else's uh, switch case and uh, another thing is and very commonly used one is the uh, ternary operation which is for example um, if you have just two cases like if this do this and else do that uh, in such such cases you can use uh, um, if your temperature is greater than 30 uh, you say it's hot otherwise it's uh, you don't care or it's not hot or something like that say you have a message and a ternary operator um, is used to assign uh, values to something um, so your message should be uh, depending on temperature if temperature is greater than 5 yeah that's exactly what I was saying so if your temper if the temperature is greater than 30 uh, it's too hot outside else it's not too hot outside so this is the ternary operation uh, it uses a question mark first the condition so this is your condition if this condition satisfies uh, do whatever is after uh, or assign message with the value that is exactly after that question mark if that doesn't satisfy then use the one after the colon so it's uh, with this question mark and colon and uh, if, you, if we run this again oops I need to lock this temperature at the end because it's just uh, assigning uh, value to message uh, console log Right. so this will now log it is not too hot outside uh, because we set the temperature to 14 if we set it to 34 for example it will say it's too hot outside so these are all conditionals so with just help of these uh, uh, you can write intelligent applications intelligent softwares so which can make decisions 
because it's quite important. So next up, we will look at Dome API. Um, 